Good morning guys, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is by you, but welcome to another episode. We're going to be doing a little bit of walleye fishing today in Minnesota. Uh, I'm packed up against my shack here today because it is pretty windy and we're going to be fishing dead sticks. We're going to go through why every walleye fisherman or every ice fisherman in general should use a dead stick and how to use them, when to use them, and how it can help you ice more fish. Did it! Oh yeah, that's got a bait runner. A what? A oh, bait runner. Yeah, especially that you had tension. Ooh, on. That's a good one. It's a dead stick rod, so it's really flimsy. Oh, no. dog. That looks like a big one. Think so? Maybe not. Not a bad fish though. Hooked perfectly. Right in the corner. Nice fish, 19, 20 incher. We just had a little school come through. Me and Darian both had flags. Get this guy back and I'll show you guys what I'm using for my dead stick setup. There he goes. All right guys, so we're running some set lines today and we're using a Arctic Warrior rod holder. It's basically the same thing as an iFish Pro, a Finicky Fooler, whatever, a bunch of different companies make them. Jay says they're better if you didn't hear that. Not carrying around a banjo. But as far as a setup, it's really simple. Split shot. Darren says he's going to have one eat it. Simple split shot. And this is a number eight. Must add, I like these. These are triple grips. The gaps of these hooks come in a little bit if you can see that. So the hook point goes down and then it comes back in. And I like it, it almost acts, I don't know if it acts as a circle hook, but I use the same hook for pike fishing as well. Then if they do swallow it, it's easier to get out instead of those big bulky hooks. And we're just tipping it with a five to six inch sucker, setting it a foot and a half off bottom for a rod. This is a Thorn Brothers dead stick rod, 32 incher. It's really nice, it's got this soft tip that can load up. And then this reel here is what's called a bait runner. So you'll take this lever right here, flip it up. And once this rod loads up, that line lets it out. So that fish can take line and run with your bait and you can keep your bail closed so none of the lines unfolding if you've got wind or anything like that. And all you do is come over to it. You can either make a full revolution and it'll click or you can just turn it off by hand, set the hook and then you have your regular drag to fight your fish on. Really nice setup and it's really crucial for those days where they don't want the jigs when they just want a dead stick and a minnow. So we've got our bait bucket here. Nice sucker, four and a half inches about. Take this hook right above the dorsal, just under the backbone. Make sure that barb and hook point comes out on the other side to hold your minnow, just like that. 10 pound fluorocarbon, set them in, extra lively, which is good. We're gonna send them back down. All right, so I got this set up here. Just gonna flip this over like this. Tip that up so your tension for your bait runner on this reel is back here so you can loosen or tighten it. So bait runner set, just like that. We want just a little bit of tension on the tip, just like that. Just gonna take the line, go under this little clip, and that goes right to the little hole in the back of there. This goes down, flag goes up, fish on. I got a fish right on me. I got a fish right on me. Alright, I'll take it. No! Come get this one to bite jigging. Alright. Screw this fish. I'm coming. There he goes. See it run a little bit there? Oh, that is pretty neat. See that? I like that. Very nice. How on. Feel? Like a walleye. <laughs> Not like a big one. Little head shakes. But you guys just seen me put on this big sucker. 
and this is even kind of small from what they've been using. I just spit my sucker. Got him. <laughs> There's the sucker. There's our walleye. It's kind of chilly out today. Just want to pop this hook out. Nice little fish. It is pretty cold out today, so we want to get them back quick. Their fins don't freeze. And let's get my sucker back in the water. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Robbing on it. Oh, the bait runner's gone. Oh, I got one on here. Grab that camera right there. You ready? Be better. Nice one though. Oh shit, it's big. <laughs> but that's a nice one. It's like that one I caught this morning with the jig around.